Homo rhodesians is refers to an extinct hominin species of the genus Homo, first described in 1921 by Arthur Smith Woodward in reference to the Carbway skull fossil recovered at Broken Hill, or Carbway, in Zambia. A number of morphologically comparable fossil remains came to light in East Africa and North Africa during the 20th century and were classified as Homo rhodesiansis. Smith Woodward decided the fossils represented an extinct hominid species as the thick skull, sloped forehead and giant brow ridges made the species distinct from living people. The finds were dated between 300,000 and 125,000 years BC. However, this African group of fossils has also been known by many other now obscure names none ever having been accepted universally including the taxon Homo rhodesiansis. The Saldana cranium, found in 1954 in South Africa was subject to at least three taxonomic revisions from 1955 to 1996. Consensus is confined to informal taxonomic categories, such as pre-modern. Most scientists now regard Homo rhodesiansis as to be the local representative of Homo heidelbergensis and as such the direct ancestor of anatomically modern humans. Discovery Carbway 1, also called the Broken Hill Skull, was assigned by Arthur Smith Woodward in 1921 as the type specimen for Homo rhodesiansis. Most contemporary scientists forego the taxon rhodesiansis altogether and assign it to Homo heidelbergensis. The cranium was found in a lead and zinc mine in Broken Hill, northern Rhodesia in 1921 by Tom Zwiglar, a Swiss miner. In addition to the cranium, an upper jaw from another individual, a sacrum, a tibia, and two femur fragments were also found. The skull was dubbed Rhodesian Man at the time of the find, but is now commonly referred to as the Broken Hill Skull or the Carbway Cranium. The association between the bones is unclear, but the tibia and femur fossils are usually associated with the skull. Rhodesian Man is dated to be between 125,000 and 300,000 years old. Cranial capacity of the Broken Hill Skull has been estimated at 1,230 cc. Bader and Al published the direct date of 110 car for this specimen measured by aspartic acid racemization. The destruction of the paleoanthropological site has made layer dating impossible. The massive skull suggests an extremely robust individual with the comparatively largest brow ridges of any known hominid. It was described as having a broad face similar to Homo neanderthalensis. Consequently researchers came up with interpretations such as African Neanderthal. However, with regard to the skull's extreme robustness, recent research has highlighted several intermediate features between modern Homo sapiens and Neanderthal. Bodocranium The 600.000-year-old Bodocranium was found in 1976 by members of an expedition led by John Calvert Bodo D.A.R. in the Awash River Valley of Ethiopia. Although the skull is most similar to those of Carbway, Woodward's nomenclature was discontinued and its discoverers attributed it to H. Heidelbergensis. It has features that represent a transition between Homo agaster, erectus and Homo sapiens, ndutu cranium and other specimen, the hominid from Lake ndutu in northern Tanzania, around 400,000 years old. In 1976 R.J. Clark classified it as Homo erectus and it has generally been viewed as such since, although points of similarity to H. Sapiens have also been recognized. After comparative studies with similar finds in Africa allocation to an African subspecies of H. Sapiens seems most appropriate. An indirect cranial capacity estimate suggests 1,100 milliliters. Its supertral sulcus morphology and the presence of protuberances suggested by Philip Reitmeyer give the nudu to occiput an appearance which is also unlike that of Homo erectus. But Stinger pointed out that a thickened iliac pillar is typical for Homo erectus. In a 1989 publication Clark concludes, 
It is assigned to archaic Homo sapiens on the basis of its expanded parietal and occipital regions of the brain. Classification In Africa, there is a distinct difference in the Aculean tools made before and after 600,000 years ago with the older group being thicker and less symmetric, and the younger being more extensively trimmed. Rupert Murrell has studied the relations between Narcanthropus skull of Petrolona and Rhodesian man. Most current experts believe Rhodesian man to be within the group of Homo heidelbergensis though other designations such as Homo sapiens archaicus and Homo sapiens rhodesiensis have also been proposed. According to Tim White, it is probable that Rhodesian man was the ancestor of Homo sapiens idolchu, which itself was the ancestor of Homo sapiens sapiens. The skull has cavities in ten of the upper teeth and is considered one of the oldest known occurrences of cavities. Pitting indicates significant infection before death and implies that the cause of death may have been due to dental disease infection or possibly chronic ear infection. Present location The Broken Hill Skull is one of the treasures in the collections cared for by the Natural History Museum, London. There is a replica in the museum in Livingston, Zambia. Literature Woodward, Arthur Smith, a new caveman from Rhodesia, South Africa. Nature 108, 371-372. DOI 10.1038-108371A0. Singer Robert R. and J. Weimer, Archaeological Investigation at the Saldana Skull Site in South Africa, the South African Archaeological Bulletin 23, 63-73, DOI, 10.2307, JSTOR 3,888,485, Murrell, Rupert High, A Comparison of the Rhodesian and Petrolona upper jaws in relation to other Pleistocene hominids. Zeitschrift für Morphologie und Anthropologie 66, 176-187. Murrell, Rupert Ivan, ed. Charles C. Thomas, ed. Petrolona Man, a descriptive and comparative study, with new information on Rhodesian Man. Springfield, Illinois, Thomas. ISBN 0-398-04550-X. Wrightmeyer, Philip, The Lake Ndut Ukranium and Early Homo Sapiens in Africa, American Journal of Physical Anthropology 61, 245-254, DOI, 10.1002, AJPA, 1,330,610,225, PMID 6410925. As for Burhana, a new hominid parietal from Bodo, Middle Awash Valley, Ethiopia. American Journal of Physical Anthropology 61, 367 371. DOI 10.1002 AJPA 1,330,610,311 PMID 6,412,559